home. Uh, the other three uh, were pinned down at the location. Uh, eventually, uh, SWAT with an armored personnel carrier was able to respond to that location and, and uh, remove two additional firefighters from that scene. Uh, two firemen uh, were deceased at the scene. Uh, two uh, received uh, serious injuries from the shots and are being treated at uh, local hospitals at this time. The names, and we'll spell them for you after the press uh, conference, uh, Fireman uh, uh, Tomas Petrufka was uh, deceased at the scene. Fireman uh, Mike Ciparini, who was also a lieutenant with the uh, Lester uh, Police Department, was uh, deceased at the scene. Uh, Theodore Scardino uh, is currently in surgery, uh, and he's a West Rochester fire officer, our fireman, and Joseph Hops uh, Satter. Uh, is also a volunteer firefighter and a full-time firefighter with the Rochester Fire Department was also injured and is being treated at the scene. Additionally, an off-duty uh, Greece police officer, John Ritter, uh, who happened to be driving by the scene at the time in his private vehicle, uh, received injuries from shrapnel uh, striking the side of his body in his car, and uh, he's being treated as well. Uh, 33 residents uh, were, were removed uh, by the armed personnel carrier uh, from the location. We have uh, four homes that were fully engulfed and uh, destroyed by fire. Pack. Firefighters are still fighting at this time. It took quite a period of time before we uh, uh, were able to make the uh, scene uh, safe for firefighters to respond. And uh, uh, in addition to the four uh, houses that were destroyed by fire, four additional houses sustained damage.